I want to ask a very important question. A very, very important question. How come Hamatora can get a season 2, but something that far exceeds this series in terms of writing and characters, like Spice and Wolf, can never get a season 3? Why is that? Please, can someone answer that question? Because, I mean, I don't see the reason why there would be any reason to make a season 2 of this abomination. So, if you don't know by now, I am not a big fan of this series. I am not. Now, I watched the first season, I reviewed the entire first season, and I saw that entire series just go down after episode 7. It was even bad at the start with, but it went down after episode 7. It just kept digging itself into a deeper hole. Now, we had that last season end with a massive cliffhanger. A massive cliffhanger where we fought Nice died. He got shot in the back of the head by Art that magically turned into a villain. Oh yes, he got space magic back to life. All that type of stuff happened last season. Well, at the beginning of this episode, I actually had my hopes up. I was like, oh my god, it actually might be good. You want to know why? Because they said Nice was dead. Nice died three months ago and pretty much... Yeah, he's dead. The main male character was dead from the last season, and he was confirmed dead. And he even said in the news reportings, it even said on a paper, he died in the fucking hospital. He died in the fucking hospital. And then, at the end of this episode, oh, the problems already begin. They bring him back. And then they say, all the characters say this, we were just kidding and joking around. We don't have to act anymore. What the fuck? What? You don't have to act anymore about Nice being not dead. What was the fucking point besides tricking the audience and thinking he was dead? What's the fucking point? There was no point. That is the biggest fucking ass pull I have seen. No, no, no. The second biggest ass pull. Because Art being alive should not have ever have happened to begin with after his tragic death of episode fucking 7 of the last series. He shouldn't be back alive, and it shows him again in this fucking episode, and he's alive, which I'll get into in a moment. But you're telling me on your first fucking episode, you're gonna pull something that I hated the first Hamator so much. The one reason why I hated it so much, you're gonna pull that same fucking stunt again with this first episode of season two? I was looking at this episode and actually happy. I was happy for the first half of this episode. I was. I was actually like, holy shit, this might be good. You want to know why? Because Hajime was going to be the next main character. The next main character of this entire series probably take the spotlight of season two. And I was like, oh my god, this character is much more interesting. She has a much more likable personality. And I like her character design a lot better than this person that has talent and number one fucking minimum holder, minimum holder, whatever you want to fucking call it. So, Instead of Hajime being the key main character of this season 2, which should have happened because it would have made this series a lot better and I probably would be very happy right now. Instead, they decided to ass pull nice back to life. Thank God. We're all happy about that. Okay. So, in terms of animation, animation is good. I'm not going to deny the animation all about this episode. The animation was good, but I know they used a lot of that budget. A hefty amount of budget they probably have somewhere stored up if they can make a fucking season 2 of this series in a matter of a couple months. They made constant freaking like uh, screens that goes to the next scene. I, I don't know what they're exactly called. It doesn't come to my mind right now. But those screens that said Rehamator, you know, Hamator season 2 shit. It kept popping up after every fucking talking scene. Like, why do we need that? Why do we need those scenes every conversation after every conversation you switch over to the next scene with that and you have to put that little music and all that half the budget of the series must have went into those scenes because that was fucking annoying and at the same time the animation in those scenes looked the best out of this entire episode and that, that i'm not joking i am not joking at all so music opening song liked it i actually did i did like the opening song of the opening it, it was good but i should have known Nice would have been back alive if they showed Nice in the fucking opening song. It was obvious they didn't show Hajime in Nice's play, so... Uh, I guess I set my own self up for disappointment, but still, the point is... Opening song is okay. Ending song, it's shit. Okay, now we got past that. Characters still unlikable, don't care, give a fuck about any of them. I'm gonna be completely honest. They're bland and cardboard cutouts, all the single characters. Hajime, like I said, is the only character I technically really care about. And then Nice, yeah, he can go... Back to the hospital. You know, he can pretend he's dead for the rest of the series. Overall, 
I guess if you enjoyed the abomination that was Hamatora Season 1, you'll probably enjoy Hamatora Season 2. I'm not saying you shouldn't watch the series. If you enjoyed Hamatora Season 1 and you thought it was the best anime of all fucking time, I'm not judging you for liking it. But in terms of writing and characters, it lacks. But it does have cardboard cutouts, so if you like those type of things, you'll definitely like this entire Season 2. So anyways, yeah. I'm gonna have to deal with about 12 weeks of this fucking shit. Oh my god. Okay, so anyways, everybody, you have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.